Welcome. In this new video, I'm going to be building this guitar body. I'm going to use some new techniques, so you can't miss it. It's been a few months since I've uploaded my last video. That's because I've been learning some new stuff. As you have seen in some of my last videos, I built a CNC machine. And that involves a big learning curve. So that's the reason of this time gap. The wood I'm using here is white limba or corina, and I've thickened it down to 35 millimeters. The next step is to plane the two blanks edge, so I can glue them together. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what this learning curve CNC stuff has consisted. It's been mainly two things. The first was CAD modeling, learning to use Rhinoceros 3D. And the second one was, in order to make the CNC execute the cuts correctly, learning CAM programming. And for this last task, I'm using Fusion 360. Ok, let's get back to the project. Here I'm gluing the two white limba blanks. For the top I'm going to use olive wood, which is one of my favorite woods and in the area where I live is quite abundant. Olive wood has a very beautiful good grain, but on the other hand, it's very difficult to find a piece with no cracks, checks or bark inclusions. So you have to be prepared to do lots of fields, and it's difficult to work with because it's grain changing directions. In order to cut in the bands of the two top bookmatch blanks, I need to plane one face and one edge. Here I'm ripping 15mm planks. This one is the second slice. Thickness in then down to 14 millimeters. Next, I'm going to plane two edges at once. Checking for strainers. Here you can see the stunning grain this wood has. And finally, I can glue the two pieces together. Since this wood is oily, I've wiped the edges with some acetone. The next step is to glue the light wood top to the Corina body. So I have to flat the two matching faces. The white limba or Corina face is going to be planed. And the light wood is going to be sanded and then scraped.
Okay, time to glue the chop. To prevent from slipping the two pieces, I'm using as allocating pin some drywall screws. And finally, it's CNC time. This kit is a Queen Ant Pro, 1000 to 1500. The real working surface is approximately 700 per 1200 centimeters. First, in the back, I'm going to machine the electronics cavity. And this cut is the Comfort Belly Carb, only doing the roughing here. The finishing pass will be done by hand later. Here you can see it. Now it's time to flip the blank. First, I'm going to cut the pickup pockets. Here, I'm making some kind of cut of one and a half millimeter inside per fling. You will see in a moment more clearly what I'm talking about. This cut is for the 5-way lever switch. Here you can see it finished. Here I'm mixing a little bit of black epoxy is to fill the little purfling or binding that I told you before. Here you can see it. The next program is to cut the contour. I'm not going to cut it completely. I'm going to leave a little bit. I'll finish the cutting in the bandsaw and then in the router table. <laughs> next program, neck packet. And this one is the last program, is the top carving roughing. The finished carving is going to be made by hand. Here I'm removing the excess wood. I will flush everything in the router table. The total thickness of the body from the lowest point to the higher point is 48 millimeters. <clears throat> okay, as I told you before, here I'm finishing the Comfort Belly Card by hand. I know I can finish this with a smoothing program on the CNC. In fact, I have the code. But in this moment of my life, I still enjoy doing by hand this process. 
first time removing the steps with a gouge. And I make the smoothing with two steps. First with the thumb plane and the second with a scraper. And the last step is to finish carving the top. I'm using the thumb plane, some gouges, the scraper. Since I made the roughing in the CNC, this process took me a third of the time it would normally have taken me. Here you can see more clearly that binding porcelain I made with resin before. This gouge has the perfect radius for this contour. This area was the most problematic to carve by far. It's like a big knot. This scraper is very useful to smooth all the contours. And the last part of course is lots of sanding. I'm sanding up to 120 grit. Okay, this video is going to end here. Please let me know if you want to see more episodic chapters of my guitar building videos. Or if you prefer them with my voiceover of only with the subtitles. If you enjoy the video, please click like, subscribe and hit the bell, so you won't miss the next episode where I'm going to build the neck. Thank you for watching and see you soon.